another video of mine. Today I want to share with you guys my debt snowball update for June. I did a debt snowball video or update in May and I think it seemed like a lot of you guys liked that and enjoyed it. So I'm going to make another video to show you guys what the six month update is from January until June. So if you are interested in this, stay tuned and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So in June, I ended up, let me erase this first. Okay, so I ended up paying $510.24. So my income didn't really change. I was still on unemployment. I wasn't making anything from work yet. And so my income stayed the same. But compared to May, you may notice that this is a lot less than what I put last month. And that's because I really wanted to start putting money down for my car down payment and my house down payment whenever that time may come and so I decided to kind of split the money not necessarily evenly but um, this is what it ended up being so in July I'm hoping it will be way more than this but that's what it looks like for June and then my credit card one I ended up paying 50 $552.05, that was correct, and my car lease was the same. There is no interest for any of these. And then my end balance, so that's going to bring it to $5,818.71. So I ended up paying this off, but then at the end of June, I had... Um, another package from the container store ship out that I paid in May and so it charged me for that and so that was $17.21 and that I will pay at the beginning of July before my statement is due or my due date um, and so that will be gone by the end of July and as far as my car lease the end balance is $6,000 six hundred and thirty five dollars and seventy five cents so I'm gonna go ahead and add these all up so we have our original balance of six thousand twenty eight and ninety five cents for my student loan plus credit card debt of five hundred and fifty two dollars and five cents plus six thousand nine hundred and eighty five dollars for my car that brings the total of my debt being at thirteen thousand eight hundred and sixty six I ended up paying five ten twenty four for my loan five fifty two oh five for my credit card and three forty nine twenty five for my lease so so I paid a total of one thousand one hundred and thirty four hundred and eleven dollars and fifty four cents I paid zero dollars in interest so that is going to bring my total to twelve thousand four hundred and seventy one dollars and sixty seven cents so that is the total for my debt and I'm gonna go ahead and do what I did last month and color in my progress for my student loans so let me go ahead and turn to that. And we are right here. So this is the page. This is from Debt Free Charts. So as you can tell, I'm really close to the 25%. And so I'm going to take that ending balance of $5,818 and I'm going to subtract it from my original balance of, for, of the year. That was at the beginning of the year, and that was $8,131.60. That's going to bring it to $2,312.89 that I paid off. So you can tell that that is way past the 25% off, or the 25% off mark. I'm going to divide that difference. This is the difference that... 
um, that I have paid for, since January, and I'm going to divide that by 8131, which, as you can tell right here, is the monthly, or I'm sorry, what each box symbolizes or represents. So I should have, based on my calculator, I should have 28 squares colored in. Okay, and just to make sure I counted it correctly, what I did is I took 28 times 8131 to see how much that payoff would be, and that was 2276.68. And again, that balance from my original 8131 and the current balance of 5818 is a difference of 2312 so that is correct and some people do partial like if they do 25% or 50% of a box I don't color that in I just wait until that box is full so I'm going to color in these six boxes <laughs> boxes I'm gonna erase my little pencil mark and that is what it looks like so I'm so happy that I'm 25% to paying off my student loans I'm so excited to see what the update will be at the end of July hopefully this was motivating for some of you guys I know for myself the result wasn't as much as I would have liked to but I still was able to color off six squares which isn't a lot of progress but it is something and that's all that matters so if you were like me and you weren't able to pay off as much as you would like just remember that any amount is a success the fact that you're still working towards paying off debt is what's important and sometimes people have to put them on hold for family emergencies or lack of income or you have to save you have to use your money in the best way for you and your family. So don't get discouraged if one month or even a couple months, you're not able to put as much towards debt. Just keep looking forward, looking towards the next month, working on your goals, and surely we will get where we need to be. It may not be within the time frame we may originally have wanted, but that's okay. So. If you did like this video and you did enjoy seeing my progress, let me know by liking this video. And let me know in the comments below what your June payoff was like. And also let me know what your debt payoff goal is for July. With that being said, don't forget to hit subscribe so that way you can see more updates of my debt snowball in the future and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching have a great day guys Bye.